Hey, 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 what's up? It's Marco. This is Marco's Motorcycle Nation. Thank you so much. We hit 4,000 subscribers. I think we hung on 3,990 something for uh, for a few hours. But uh, thank you to everybody who is newly subscribed to our channel. Thanks to the first few people that subscribe to our channel. We appreciate everybody. Our promise to you is to deliver you uh, news. Uh, and we try to get it right, factual, and on time every time uh, right here on Marco's Motorcycle Nation. So if you could... Uh, bless me with a follow, uh, a subscription. We would love that. It helps the channel out to share and comment as well. Uh, but if you just hit that subscribe button, it'll do wonders for everything. And appreciate everybody who's invested in this channel. This is your channel. We're working on some very cool stuff in the future here to bring even more content to you. It is going to be a great uh, area, a great uh, place to gather and uh, really uh, have uh, everything we need. Uh, for uh, motorcycles in general. So I'm very happy to report that that is uh, currently on the way and uh, ready to go. So uh, we appreciate you. It is uh, already the 22nd of May, 2023. This is your biker news for today. We find ourselves today in Topeka, Kansas for something that happened actually on Mother's Day. And uh, this was a bizarre story that uh, we started to cover and then uh, and tried to get more details. Authorities say a Victoria's bar shooting stemmed from a verbal altercation with a motorcycle group. Now they say here, another person arrested in the net shooting uh, on a felony warrant, Caleb L. Conway. Another person has been arrested now in connection to that weekend shooting at Victoria's Bar in South Topeka. The Shawnee County Sheriff's Office booked 41-year-old Caleb Conway today in connection to the shooting. It's on a felony arrest warrant. The sheriff's office also says a 41 year old man who they did not specifically name was engaged in a verbal altercation with a group associated with the Hells Lovers Motorcycle Club before the shooting. Then an unnamed man not related to the situation arrived to pick up a bar employee there that last Saturday night before being hit multiple times by the bullets. The vehicle was found later and the driver was taken to a local hospital, treated and released. A lot of moving parts clearly on this story. Authorities also say another individual not involved in the original altercation and not inside the bar got out of his vehicle and shot at the man's vehicle. Four people remain jailed in connection with this shooting. The rest have since bonded out. We will, of course, follow any new developments as they happen. As you can see here by this uh, report, Hell's Lovers Motorcycle Club allegedly involved with Topeka bar shooting. Now, uh, this says law enforcement released an additional information related to the weekend shooting at a South Topeka bar that left one person with critical injuries. The Shawnee County Sheriff's Office took social media and to announce a summary of what happened at Victoria's Bar this past weekend as these details continue to emerge. Deputies were sent to the bar located uh, on Southwest Topeka Boulevard around 2.15 a.m. on Sunday. Uh, upon arrival, law enforcement found a 41-year-old man who was in a verbal altercation in the parking lot with a group of people associated with the Hell's Lovers Motorcycle Club. Now, several shots were fired, allegedly fired, at multiple vehicles. So this is a pretty big shootout going on. A vehicle that was arriving at the bar just to pick up an employee was also shot. The driver was hit multiple times, according to these uh, people here, SNSO. A 35-year-old male fled the scene, and the vehicle was found a short time later uh, in the 4500 block of Southwest Topeka Boulevard. The driver was taken to a local hospital for treatment and later released. Now, uh, this is a craziness that happened here. Additionally, uh, the SNSO said a separate individual was not inside the bar and not involved in the original fight. Uh, he was sitting in his vehicle across the street from the bar when he heard shooting. The man allegedly exited his vehicle with a gun and began shooting at the vehicle that was later found at the 4500 block of Southwest Topeka Boulevard. This guy was just sitting in his car, minding his own business, saw a gunfight, said, well, I've got a gun, got out and started shooting. Anyway, this uh, individual was also taken into custody and charged with aggravated assault, criminal possession of a weapon, and criminal discharge of a firearm. In total, the SNSO arrested seven people in connection with the shooting at Victoria's Bar. The incident is under investigation, and rest include a 28-year-old aggravated assault, criminal possession of a weapon, and criminal discharge of a firearm, 26-year-old possession of marijuana, and possession of drug paraphernalia. That seems like just somebody that was there at the scene. 42-year-old aggravated assault, criminal discharge of a firearm, 49-year-old booked on an arrest warrant, 30-year-old criminal discharge of a firearm, 39-year-old criminal discharge of a firearm, aggravated assault, interference with law enforcement, 
and a 41-year-old booked on felony arrest warrant. Anyone uh, with information, they're asked to uh, call, but uh, this is a story that's ongoing uh, and one that, again, just happened uh, over the weekend involving the Hells Lovers Motorcycle Club. We will keep you up to date with all of the details as they emerge from this story. Also happening today, former president of a Massachusetts Hells Angels charter awaiting sentencing for his murder conspiracy. This uh, also happened uh, over uh, the weekend and uh, breaking today. Former president of the Massachusetts Hells Angels Charter is awaiting sentencing for his role in the murder conspiracy sparked during the Laconia Motorcycle Week nine years ago and just now awaiting. Prosecutors say Christopher Raineri and two other people plotted to kill Joel Silva after Silva threatened a member of the club in Laconia. On July 15, 2014, Silva was lured to the Fresno's Hells Angels Clubhouse and was shot in the back of the head. Prosecutors say Ranieri hatched a plan to kill Silva at his home in Linwood, Massachusetts. After the murder, Ranieri, it was said, traveled to California for a party to celebrate Sylvia's death, as they were reporting here in this story. Ranieri is facing life in prison, and this uh, on the heels of a story we just covered a couple of uh, days ago uh, with Vegas profile stories about that charter uh, of the Hells Angels uh, and uh, in Fresno. And so uh, this is uh, kind of crazy to see all this culminating at once all these charges coming out on different sides of uh, each coast we'll keep you up to date uh, with what's going on there uh, as well that is your motorcycle biker news for today my name is marco thanks again for everybody who hit that subscribe button and who's uh, subscribed to our channel here we got a lot of great stuff coming a lot of new stuff coming to our channel i'm so excited to uh, be able to present all of it but it's taking some time uh, to get out uh, and get it to you but promise that we will be thorough we will be fair we'll be uh uh, everything that uh, we ask. And of course, we will be transparent here on this channel. So thank you for checking us out here. It is uh, Monday, the 22nd of May, 2023. That is your biker news for today. Feel free to click around, hit subscribe on our channel, and we'll have more motorcycle news right here on Marco's Motorcycle Nation.